All right, so there it is, folks. Finished. High power driver. Uh, specs courtesy of BOA and others to be credited in the post. Uh, MOSFET driver, FET driver. FE, the uh, MOSFETs to, um, well, click power on and off. Relays, a uh, whole bunch of schlocky diodes in the back to keep everything, all the shenanigans straight. A couple uh, transistors click the relays. Uh, this is a reverse input, pulse wave modulation input, power input, which is coming from a MacGyver power supply. Also running my new but old free Winnie the Pooh computer. Obligatory pass through ribbon. Uh, and all the information and stuff about this guy um, will be in the post. I'm running it off of this board that I made for another project with this spaghetti on the back. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's just a Pickaxe 28X. Um, push button and pot. And I'm actually running this little toy motor because it's uh, the only thing I have that will uh, that draws, draws low enough current that I'm not going to blow my, uh, my uh, power supply back there. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, first of all, we have regular pulse wave modulation uh, speed control. And if we turn this down a little bit and we click this baby, which is this baby, nice reverse light comes on and they're now in reverse. And we have speed control in reverse. And forward. And everything seems to be working. Here's the eventual goal to DeWalt drill motors and uh, hopefully someday you'll be seeing me drive my kids around the yard uh, and maybe the next post will involve those drill motors maybe running off of a car battery. But for now <clears throat> success Thanks to Mr. BOA, uh, robotologist, robotologist, robologist, Rick, uh, anyone else I missed, thank you very much. Uh, all credits will be in the post. And uh, gosh darn it, the thing worked first try. How many times does that happen? The electronic gods are shining on me this time.